I'm the director of Guthrie County Conservation, and uh, we are here at um, an area of ours called Bunt Prairie. Uh, Bunt Prairie is a, a small area, just three acres in size. It was gifted to the county back in the late 1980s. Um, basically what Bunt Prairie, what this area is, this is an area, this is three acres that has never been touched um, by a plow. This is native Iowa prairie, never been turned over. Uh, not very many of these um, acres are left uh, here in Iowa. Um, this area is, is set up for uh, folks to come out and, and look at all different kinds of uh, native grasses and native wildflowers. The scenery out here kind of changes from month to month depending on what flowers are in bloom, what grasses are, are, are growing. Um, it's an area you can come out and uh, bird watch, take a walk around, uh, see different birds, um, maybe catch a glimpse of some upland birds, uh, pheasants, quail, maybe a turkey or two. Again, like I said, the, the area uh, kind of changes throughout the, throughout the spring and, and the summer. Um, right now, there's just a lot of uh, all the grasses and things are growing. There's a lot of wildflowers out here, but nothing is in, in bloom right now. Um, but a lot of folks that, that come out here have noticed a lot of different color. Um, the purple cone flowers are very abundant out here. Yellow cone flower, rattlesnake master, butterfly milkweed, uh, liatris, blazing star. All those add to a lot of different color. Like I said, uh, bird watching just to see what a, a section of native prairie looks like. And also a lot of folks take a lot of photographs out here, a lot of opportunity to take some really, really neat pictures. Uh, one of the interesting facts about this area was an original one-room schoolhouse used to sit on this, on this property. Um, so there, there is a lot of history uh, to the area and um, our uh, goal with this is just to continue to um, watch after this area and, and keep it in uh, keep it in the best pristine condition that we can so that uh, uh, Generations to come can always take a look at what uh, Iowa's landscape used to look like